right, boys and girls, here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, the day's here. 3.30 <laughs> in the morning, we're on our way to Isle Royal. It's an eight and a half hour drive. We uh, take off at two o'clock and we can't wait. Here's the uh, backpacks. Mike and Ian. Boom. Let's go. We are off. have arrived to our seaplane, Isle Royal Seaplanes in Houghton. Planes, our flight's at two o'clock. It is 105. It's a 45 minute flight over there, 55 miles, and here we go. Here's one. Loading up all of our gear, backpacks. Each backpack can't weigh more than 45 pounds. And then about to take off here in a couple minutes.
Off the seaplane. Up we go to register, sign in, and all that good stuff. Get our briefing. Welcome to Isle Roy. Fantasy Island. <laughs> what was that, Mike? Welcome to Fantasy Island. <laughs> Welcome to Isle Roy. Hey, Trippers. I've only seen this picture a million times right here. Here we go, Ranger Station. So we just finished the uh, checking in at the ranger station up there. We're coming down and you cannot bring any liquids over on the seaplane. So we brought our empty bottles and they got some drinkable water here. And I'm going to fill up. Ah, the next time we do water for the rest of the next four days, it'll be filtering out of probably Lake Superior. Get you gummy. Back from the ranger station, ready to get to our first, we're going to campground. We are going to Washington Creek, Camp, Washington Creek Campground tonight. And then we'll head out on our big loop tomorrow. So let's go find it. Here we are. We after, made it. Made it after the seaplane ride, 45 minute seaplane over here. Hopefully we'll see a moose, a wolf, and a fox, and a bald eagle, and a polar bear. Don't forget about the penguins. Penguins too. <laughs> and hopefully a good sighting of Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Yeah. All right, we're almost there. At Washington Creek Campground, looking for a site. There's 15 sites here, and so far, we're at eight. They're all full, except there's a small one back there. We might be ending up going to that one. All right, so some guy gave us a tip on these group sites that they have overflow once they're all taken here. And they're all taken, so we're going to the group site overflow. Hopefully we can get in there. These are awful small. I call the one on the left. <laughs> what outhouses? Yeah, not all outside. <laughs> and here they are. No, those are. <laughs> Outhouses. <laughs> well, what's it look like, fellas? This will work. This is better than nothing. Cool. Getting ready for cooking dinner, but Mike has some hors d'oeuvres. I think he said he oh, has. Would you like some hors d'oeuvres, sir? What These do you are got? Some black olives and green olives on on skewers. Yeah, I would oh, love to have one. Grab whatever one you want. I'll take this one. Ian, would you would like a look at this? Oh yes, I would. Oh, thank you. Oh, These thank are you, sir. Fantastic. That's how it got. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Yay! Here's Ian. He's going with chili mac. Chili mac with beef. All right, here okay, we go. Here we go. <laughs> Sweet. We've we've had it before. It's good. It's spicy. I so am gonna. Like I am gonna go with a new one. Alpine Air Foods. Wild mushroom fettuccine Alfredo with mushrooms and shallots and creamy peppery Alfredo sauce. Sounds delicious. I'll let you know how good it is. 
All right, Mike, what you going with? Chicken teriyaki rice. It's peak refuel. Okay. He's ready to go. Let's do it. It's funny how, how it looks. It looks pretty good already. Mm -hmm. Whoa, we got a little steam action on the camera. Okay, we'll go pack for a taste test. All right, Ian's going for his taste test on his chili mac. All right, let's see how hot it is. Is it hot? It's probably super hot. Is it cooked? Mm-hmm. Cooked? Tastes good? Mm -hmm. Spicy? It's got, a, yeah. it's got a good spicy good. kick to it. Cool? Mm-hmm. All right, taste test. Chicken teriyaki rice with Mike first time. Some peak refuel. It's supposed to be really good. Very good. Very I'll good. take 14 of these. Do you want to know what's inside? Nope. No, I'll take 14 of them. <laughs> good texture. Yeah. All right. Yep. Well, I'm doing a taste test for my wild mushroom fettuccine. Look, it says vegetarian on there. For vegetarian people, I guess. I'm not a vegetarian, but I don't mind eating it. So here we go. Here, take a look in here. Looks really good. Looks like uh, albino earthworms. <laughs> it does. <laughs> All right, here we go. Very rare in the northern Michigan area. <laughs> Is it too hot? Mm -mm. Oh, very good. You like the taste oh, of it? Oh, it's really good. Oh, that's wonderful. I would get it again. All right. It's time to go to bed. It's 8.38. <laughs> <laughs> Long day traveling, boys. I'm lost, but I don't. Here's our setup here. Pretty nice. We got some trees up there. It is supposed to rain tonight. And it looks like it could be some pretty good thunderstorms. So hopefully it misses us. If it happens, I will get back on here and video. Good night. Peace out, brother.